Sharp blast of the whistle. We are off and running in the Principality Stadium. Up it goes from Dan Bigger. And South Africa, through Willem Set, get their hands on the ball. Appeared in all tests of this year. All 11 of them, South Africa has Smith as Wales come again. Josh Adams once more used as the battering ram. With the advantage being played to Wales, so a free play. Another advantage being played for Mullen. Furious with the referee or at himself. Out it goes. And it's there for Rizamad, and he steps one, and he steps two, and he's eventually put out just a couple of metres short. But well, that was terrific from Wales. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, just, just don't be holding players afterwards at the rap time, OK? Over it goes from Dan B Certainly, and when the likes of Alan Wynne Jones, their captain, their talisman, we know now okay, he's going to be out for some holding. time. You can only imagine how much that affected oh, no. the camp, but we are seeing a reaction here today. Well, like I said, 10 minutes won't do it against the world champions. It's going to have to be for the full 80. That's a lovely kick, really lovely. From the Yankees, but we'll go back for a penalty. 568 international points from the boot of Dollars. And up go the flags, and there's another three. Yeah, Chased by Johnny McNichol, and it was a really good chase, and Tane Basham was there to get a hold of the ball. Pass Wales the ball, have another point, advantage. Right. McNichol around the back goes bigger, and now Jonathan Davis, and outside him is Adams, who steps inside for Mullen, and on he goes. Adams about 10 metres short now. Back to the 22, cross-field kick. Rizama under advantage. Just couldn't get there. Just couldn't get there. Rain continues to pour down. Doesn't make a bit of difference to bigger. Up go the flags. Wales value for their three-point lead. They lead it by six points to three. And Vermeulen to anchor it out. Yankees gets the ball in South Africa, move forward, they have the advantage from a powerful, powerful scrum, Creel. Okay, new advantage, thank you, Another advantage being played, second penalty in this passage of play as Etzbeth comes crashing in from a long way away, DLM, they little dink in behind, but Jonathan Davis stuck a boot out and stopped the ball from getting through, still advantage to South Africa, none That's coming, nice. and back we'll go will back. go for the penalty. Andre Pollard, as straightforward as it gets at this level, and success is the inevitable outcome, and six points apiece. Down for Williams and Bigger, and Wales have a little bit of a buzz about them right now. Davis meets Dialende in midfield. Advantage being played again. Not releasing the man, penalty to Wales. So there, you can see where Dan Bigger has been before, the green and the yellow not far away from that. That's the one that's about to happen, and it will go green, and Wales will have nine points to South Africa, six. Or Diago, I should say, yeah, is the one that makes the tackle. Williams, Basham, nice angle, good pace, gets a bit of forward momentum for Wales again. Bigger, oh, that was close to high. The referee's going to have his TMO have a little look at that while the game goes on. It's ferocious tackling from South Africa. They've forced Wales back a good seven or eight metres. Little dink over the top. There's another collision in midfield, and I think the referee is going to have to get a hold of it. I think the main issue with that is there's absolutely no duck coming from the South African player. He almost stands up into the tackle. Well, whether you agree or disagree, the four officials have had a really good look at that. They've walked through it, they've made considered decisions, and they're clear in their decision making process. Okay. It's been a dream day in terms of the positioning of the kicks for Dan Bigger so far. Mbonambi at the back, remember, South Africa down to 14. As we head towards the Advantage. final 
next five minutes of the first half. They have advantage. Pollard thought about the kick, thought about the pass, got caught in possession, but they have advantage still, and Smith comes around the corner and he singles out Rollins, who's equal to the defensive task. We'll go back for the penalty. Yeah. Time off. Where's one? One is Reese yeah. Carey. Jonathan. We spoke about more infringements down here last time. One's come straight around the side. It's going to be yet another yellow card. Well, it's another prop. Entry at the ball. In the bin. Back here. Reese Carey makes his way. Yankees once again. Reese Amatu had that opportunity in the opening 10 minutes with a cross-field kick that just got away from him, and that's yeah. probably the closest we've come to a try for Wales in this first half. First real tester of a kick so for time, either outside half in this first Thank half. On its way, and it's good. It's really good, because that was not straightforward, and Pollard has... Shorten the gap. Bigger's boot got Wales out to 12. Pollard has three of his own. It gives South Africa nine. Tompkins, who came up quickly, and that for a moment unsettled South Africa, but they still have the ball. Dialende. Big tackle from Jenkins, and it's stolen by Wales. And downfield it goes from McNichol. And back goes Creel. And he's. Dealing with a ball of soap, and Adam saw a moment, but then backed off because he knew once Creel got a hold of it, the tackle needed to be made. But Wales have gone from their own goal line to inside the South African half to a penalty. Big kick, big kick, big results. Adam as well keep this one in play. Always a risky pass in these conditions from that distance, but bigger. Confident and comfortable. Dialende. Watch that one into the arms all day long. Advantage being played. Davis, I think, at the bottom of that, was it? Well, we'll go back and check, but a Welsh player on the wrong side. But advantage being played to South Africa. Khaleesi not hanging around waiting for that advantage, trying to take a hold of it right now. Marks on a terrific angle. Yankees as South Africa come pouring back at Wales again. That one almost picked off, but into the arms of Kitsoff before he's wrapped up. And we will go back all the way back. Punches through the ball. Oh. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Reinach. Look quickly to make the tackle was Seb Davis. And again, good line speed from Wales. It's been noticeable and bigger leading the way on that occasion. They are just coming flying out of the box. And now there's a penalty for South Africa. Oranek once again. A little bit of room for Smith to work in. Takes the ball into contact. Oranek once more. Etzebeth. Elias went low and cut the big man down. A mistake from Diager. But uh, going backwards, guys. It'll be a penalty. Flags go up. It's five penalties apiece. It's 15 points apiece. Bigger will get on with it. And he'll give Wales the lead once more. Advantage being played to Wales. And then there's a little kick over the top from Williams. And after it goes Rizamat. But Reinach was alive to the danger. And he turns defense into attack and the advantage was for a knock forward so that's gone as soon as the ball was kicked away what an effort from Kobus Reinach absolutely brilliant from the scrum half he looked like he was in all sorts of trouble as Reese Zamet came after him but he turned found the gaps and brings South Africa from inside their 22 to inside the Welsh half didn't get everything out of it he would have liked still eight or nine meters for Malcolm Marks and South Africa to try and navigate it's Vermeulen who takes it, and it's Smith who has it, and now Marks at the back of them all. It's got moving, and Wales are scattered like Skittles, and oh, Marks goes! And over he goes!
And the world champions are world champions because they're going to find a way when they need to. You've got Adam Beard desperately trying to get through the middle there, but he's blocked off superbly well. They fraction it off, yet South Africa stay connected, stay low. And that is just so hard to defend. Incredibly hard to defend, but also incredibly difficult to navigate and to deliver under pressure. And South Africa did it so, so well. Kicking it away, and it'll be game over. So if they're going to do it, they have to do it from inside their own 22. And they can't do it, because South Africa, again, at the breakdown. And it's Kitsov who gets the congratulations, and the arms are raised in the coach's box. Know it, that's it. And he's had a huge impact with both boots to get South Africa back into the game, and also with some breaks and some positioning that was top draw defensively. Yankees send it over. And South Africa have triumphed and triumphed as world champions tend to do. Backs to the wall, away from home.